The EFF in Zimbabwe will support Emerson Unengogwa of ZANU-PF on August 23 rather than running its own presidential candidate. The organization's head in Zimbabwe, Innocent Liboli Sabanda, stated in an interview with News24 that the decision was based mostly on pan-African relationships they had with ZANU-PF. He is the only president who will maintain the practice of taking land without just compensation and protecting Zimbabwe's inalienable right to self-determination. The EFF supported the rotational principle in the Pan-African Parliament presidency and voted with ZANU-PF at the Pan-African Parliament. In accordance with the idea that no African can be a foreigner in Africa and our borderless Africa. ZANU-PF under President Unengogwa has not abused the rights of Africans, Sabanda stated. EFF South Africa supported Zimbabwe's Fortune Karambaira for president at the Pan-African Parliament the previous year. Yet from the perspective of the SA party, the position taken by the EFF Zimbabwe was slightly different. Julius Malima, the president of South Africa, criticized Unengogwa in a tweet in May for imprisoning opposition figures. He wrote, sending an activist to four years in jail for just having different political ideas is pitiful. Nominating Tribunal The nomination court will meet on Wednesday. To run for president. You must pay a 20,000 US dollar filing fee at the High Court, a 1,000 US dollar filing fee at the Provincial Courts, and a 200 US dollar filing cost for those interested in Senate seats. Following a dispute over the fees last week, the Constitutional Court ordered Parliament to reconsider the levies. With a majority of more than two thirds, ZANU PF kept the rates the same. The fees should be cut, according to an urgent court application submitted on Monday by opposition political groups. Judge Manomoto Mutivetsi of the High Court determined that the plea for an urgent resolution of the issue was not urgent and that the matter should be scheduled for hearing on a regular and routine court's role. There were 23 presidential contenders in the 2018 general elections. Many potential candidates might be discouraged by the high costs.